In our automated remediation with crossplay video, we showed how you can use playbooks to automatically remediate issues on a constrained VM by adding resources to that VM when an alert comes in. But how do we know how many resources to add? Hi, I'm Laura Giordana, and today I'm going to show you how you can maintain an optimal KPI range by putting your playbook on autopilot. Let's take a look. I have a playbook here that will automatically add memory to a VM when a VM memory usage alert comes in, as long as the alert is a critical severity and the VM is in the environment dev category. So you can define and customize the alert trigger as you want. I've also defined the alert policy so I know that the alert will trigger when the VM memory usage is over 70%. So when this alert comes in, we'll first take the VM add memory action and add one gigabyte of memory to the VM up to a max limit of 10. Then we'll resolve the alert. And then finally, we'll send a Slack message to the admin to let them know that the playbook ran and what the result was. Now where autopilot comes in handy is here during the VM add memory action. We're not sure how much memory we'll actually need to add to meet our desired memory usage. We've just added one gig as an arbitrary number. So with autopilot, you can define the settings to set a desired KPI target. So to enable autopilot, just update the playbook and click on set autopilot. So autopilot works for metric based alert triggers and we define what the KPI settings are. So we're using the KPI metric of memory usage since it aligns with our playbook, but we could also monitor other metrics, for example, CPU or disk usage as well. And the graph will show us the current usage of the target VMs in our specified category. Now I can select the target. So we have the metric and now we select the target. The target can be either a range or it can be greater than or less than a certain amount. So I'm going to select the range um, from 10 to 70. You can then define how often you want autopilot to check. So it will, by, uh, the minimum amount is 60 minutes. So once the playbook is triggered, it will go ahead and add memory. And then after 60 minutes, it will go ahead and check and see if it falls within the KPI range. You can define the maximum number of attempts, and then you can also uh, enable waiting for approval for every attempt, so it's not just uh, going on its own. In this case, we'll allow it to uh, go ahead and attempt on its own, and I'll go ahead and click enable, and save and close, uh, and enable the playbook. So switching back to the VMs view, we can see that we have three VMs in this environment dev category, and one of them is running pretty hot. So we can see this Linux VM is running at almost 97% memory utilization. We don't see an alert icon in the top, but if we go over to alerts, we can see um, that the alert was actually triggered, but it was already resolved by the admin. And this is because our playbook resolves the alert for us. So if we jump over to the playbooks execution, we can see what it actually did. So if I click on plays here, we can see that it's in a non-resumable pause state. So that means it's actually waiting for the second attempt. So we can see that um, it went ahead and added the memory, it resolved the alert as we noted, and it sent a Slack message. And now it's waiting for an hour uh, as per the autopilot settings, where it'll check the memory utilization again and determine based on the KPI target whether or not it needs to run the playbook again. And if we go over to the VM on the VM's page, we can see that it now has two gigs of memory and we can see that our Slack message came in as well. So fast forwarding an hour, uh, an hour has passed now and we can see that our Linux VM is now down to 20.47% um, memory usage, which is within our defined uh, KPI range. We can see that the memory um, that's allocated to this VM is now three gigs. So that means that playbook was triggered one more time and if we look at the play, we can see that it's now marked as succeeded. So it doesn't need to wait for another hour anymore. It's determined that we have been able to put it into the acceptable range with uh, two attempts at running this playbook. Another example here on a different VM and um, we redefine the playbook to have a KPI range, a lower KPI range, so zero to 20% this time. And we saw that it took three attempts for the VM to reach the desired KPI range. And we can see in the graph as well um, what it was measured at at each attempt. And um, after the third attempt, we can see that it fell back into the acceptable range. 
Be sure to check out Nutanix Test Drive to get hands-on with more Nutanix Cloud Manager features. And I'll see you in the next video. Check out our other videos showcasing Nutanix Cloud Manager features and hit that like and subscribe button to be the first to know when there's new TechBytes content.